Hi everyone, I am Juanita Moore. Happy Soiree and welcome to my tiny tenderloin kitchen. Uh, I am your entertainment director tonight and I all, am also your liquor sponsor rep. Don't you love that's a new title for me? I think I should add that to my bio. Um, before I get started making cocktails and serving you some wine, I want to tell you about a little adventure that I'm going on right now. I am a candidate for Empress of the Imperial Council of San Francisco. The council is one of the oldest living organizations globally that is a nonprofit for the LGBTQ community. And I am running for Empress and I would love your vote. Uh, voting day is Saturday, April 17th. You need to be a San Francisco, Marin or San Mateo County resident to vote with a proper ID. So I hope to see you at the polls. Everyone, I hope you're having a great night and I look forward to entertaining you with some delicious cocktails and wine. Mwah! We're gonna start off with these lovely wines from Orin Swift Cellars. They're from St. Helena here in California and they've given us both a red and white tonight. And one of the most fantastic things about this winery is these beautiful labels that they put. They love to put gorgeous artwork on their labels and I think that that is pretty amazing. So the first wine that we're going to taste is this Palermo 2015 Napa Bella Cabernet Sauvignon. Let's just pour some into the glass. Look at that gorgeous color. It is so lovely. Oh, it smells really, really great. I'm going to give it a little taste for you. Oh, that's yummy. I think that would be great with a really nice, big, fat, juicy steak. That's what's going to be great. We love that. Then we have the Veladora 2016 Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. This would be so perfect on a beautiful day spent in the garden. I know you guys haven't been over to my garden, but my garden here at Casa Juanita is quite fabulous. So let's pour some in this little glass and let's give this a try. Oh, that's really nice. I think this would actually go great with my fried chicken. Maybe I'd have to have you over for that. Anyway, Thank you very much for these lovely wines, Orwin Swift Cellars. We love you and thank you for sponsoring the soiree. Welcome to the San Francisco LGBT Center Soiree. 
2021. I am Sister Roma, and of course, I'm so happy to be back with you to host this amazing event again this year. Um, I am the most photographed nun in the world. You can Google it. I swear it's true. I made it up, but it came true. And I am a 30 plus year member of the San Francisco Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. And this year, I'm extra excited to be back because my co-host is the cheeky, sexy, amazing Liam Maklum. Me? My word. Uh, thank you, Sister Roma. Good evening, everybody. I'm so honored to be the co-host uh, with the megastar, most photographed none in the world, that is Sister Roma. And I think I probably took most of the photos uh, that, you know, that's why she's the most photographed, because I'm always photographing her. I'm an out proud member of this community and have been since I moved here in 1994. Uh, by day, I'm the foodie chap on KCBS, a columnist for the Bay Times. But tonight, uh, I'm here and honored to serve as co MC, co host for this big night for the SF LGBT Center, and to do it with Roma. I think you're right. I think, Liam, we have taken so many selfies together, like we <laughs> we have to whenever we see each other. Yeah, but we, we, I can't get enough of it, Roma, because you always come camera ready when you go to an event. I'm not always camera ready, uh, but you are. And some of my favorite photographs over the years have been with you uh, at LGBTQ plus events. Uh, it's always a party when you show up, Roma. Well, I feel the same way about you. And, you know, we've known each other for a very, very long time. Oof. And we both sort of started out as just these young kids clubbing mm -hmm. and hanging out in San Francisco. And you have had such an amazing career, Liam. I'm so proud of everything that you do. And every time you invite me to join you on CBS or for any of your events, like the New Year's Eve that we spent at Lusk, that, you know, just the oh, things yeah. are, are so you. amazing. I treasure your yeah. friendship. I'm so happy to have you here tonight. Uh, and remember me too. And, and the great thing is uh, when we succeed in life, we succeed best when we give back. And so tonight uh, we are giving back uh, we're giving back to the LGBT center, back to our community. Uh, and I want to just let you know that, you know, when I moved here uh, in 1994, Roma, there was no LGBT center. If you came here from a faraway land, as many of us did, we came to San Francisco. Uh, we followed that yellow brick road, hoping to find it, looking for Dorothy. And we got here and there was no one center, not one place, not one hub that we could actually gather, right? Am I right in saying that, Roma? Absolutely. And when I moved here in 1985, the closest thing we had to an LGBT center was Ringgold Alley. Yeah, that's <laughs> more on that later. Uh, <laughs> and friends, th thank you for being with us tonight. Thank you uh, for supporting the LGBT center. It's such, such an important night. This night is the night that we all get to huddle, come together and give back. And for the last 19 years, the center has served as San Francisco's hub for connecting our diverse community. Aren't we glad that we live in a diverse community? Because we do, uh, and we're lucky to have that. Um, and we're also lucky to have the opportunities and resources uh, to help each other succeed. Uh, and so much of that success that we get to enjoy is because of the support of you and all that the LGBT Center offers. Um, the past year has been extraordinarily challenging for many members of our community. You know, we saw the entry of a new invisible foe, COVID-19. It's been an unrelenting presence spreading across the nation, not just here in our back backyard, of course, but across the country and dis disproportionately harming black, brown and indigenous communities. Uh, and I have to say that overall, and I know Roma uh, will stand by me with this, uh, we're incredibly proud of our community, San Francisco, the Bay Area, on how we have reacted and dealt uh, with COVID-19. It's changed each and every one of us. Um, and our small businesses and community service organizations have pivoted incredibly well, ensuring that essential services remain available to all who need them. Because Roma, those essential services are crucial, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so we need uh, these services and that's what the LGBT Center provides. So as we did our best to adjust to life during a pandemic, racial injustice long simmering under the surface reached a boiling point as protests against police brutality and a biased justice system spoke truth to power in cities from coast to coast. So we witnessed and experienced an alarming increase in white supremacist violence against the Asian community across the country 
and right here in our backyard. Uh, it's so incredibly disturbing, so upsetting. These are our brothers and sisters, our allies, and to see them hurt in this way uh, has been tough for us all, um, especially uh, women, elders, and immigrants. Absolutely, and speaking of our backyard, we would like to acknowledge that we are all sitting on Ohlone land. This land has a rich history and a community of people who've lived here for thousands of years, and we recognize them and thank them for this space. We continue to see the trans and gender non-binary non community targeted for physical violence, as well as continued legislative assaults, most recently directly attacking young trans people through dangerous and cruel sports and medical restrictions. And we all are witness to the unprecedented attacks on our democracy from a violent insurrection on our Capitol to new Jim Crow laws restricting our fundamental right to vote. It's insane, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel. We have also started to gain our loved ones, lives and livelihood back through the miracle of science with the development and distribution of the COVID-19 vaccine and a solid plan for recovery for the nation, California and the Bay Area. Thank you, President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris for your leadership in this area. They had a plan and it's working. Oh. See, this is the light at the end of the tunnel. Everything we faced has been a stark reminder that though we have made great strides toward equality and San Francisco continues to set hallmarks for justice and equality, there is still much more work to be done. And that's why we're here tonight, to commit to moving forward together. Tonight, we'd like to honor the 550,000 plus American lives lost to the pandemic. Tonight, we are here to say that Black Lives Matter. It is our goal now and always to make San Francisco a welcoming place to all LGBTQAII++ community members, <laughs> including our Black, Indigenous, Asian, Brown, Trans, and gender non-conforming siblings. We love you all. We are bound together in our fight for our collective liberation. Power to the people. How do the people beautifully said, Roma, so beautifully said. Uh, and you know, we've heard this phrase, we are in it together. And we literally are in this together as a community. We come together on this night. We come together to celebrate the LGBT Center, what it does and what it represents for our community. I know for me, uh, 20 years ago, when they were finalizing the plans to open the doors uh, and so many friends uh, were there supporting this magical center, this corner uh, of Market Street, uh, was going to come become a place that we could claim as ours. Uh, it's a very special place for me. I've hosted many events there from discussions to panels uh, to events with Roma and Juanita Moore. Uh, and it's, it's how the LGBT Center serves our community that in my heart, uh, it, it warms my heart just knowing that there is a place that our youth are disadvantaged. Uh, all brothers and sisters, no matter where they, they come from or what they look like, they have a place they can go and utilize all those resources. So that said, that's why we're here tonight to ensure uh, that the LGBT Center continues in its mission, in mission serving all. Uh, you're helping the magic happen. You've helped us get to this point 19 years on, all of you, you know who you are. We thank you in advance for your generosity tonight. But we also want to thank all of the center's board the staff and the volunteers steadfast in their commitment to the center's mission. Without their dedication and determination, the center's vital programs and services would not be possible. So thank you to all the elected officials also who have been so supportive of the LGBTQ community with a special shout out to Senator Scott Wiener. Uh, we love you, Scott. Supervisor Raphael Mandelman, thank you. And City College trustees, Alex Randolph and Tom Temprano, who've all served on the center's board of directors, uh, true champions uh, for our community. And we thank each and every one of them. But what to expect tonight? Well, uh, we've already had a little bit of fun with Juanita. We're gonna have more. Sister Roma, anything can happen. Uh, but we're gonna have some special opportunities uh, to share some message, messages with you and uh, an opportunity for you to show your support uh, for the work and fundraising being done through the LGBT Center. Um, a little housekeeping note. We do hope that you'll take uh, some photographs. 
uh, Roma, I, I took a selfie when you weren't looking a couple of seconds ago, but we hope that you will share and submit your photos. You can send your photos that you take tonight to donations at sfcenter.org. Don't worry, we won't take money from you when you're sending your picture in, but that's where you send it to donations at sfcenter.org. Or you can tag us on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, and of course, do not forget to use the hashtag soiree. 2021 that's hashtag soiree 2021 we also have a custom playlist tonight from dj lady ryan yes we do it's available for everyone who's watching this evening in her 15th year lady ryan she's a bay area treasure inspiring a sense of safety joy always and belonging as a spiritual conductor and dedicated professional uh, her music and voice have been riding the wave of party goers from coast to coast you can visit our website for the mixcloud or spotify link or right there look there on your screen use the qr code uh, right after the program we also have a couple of cocktail commercial breaks i love a cocktail commercial break don't know about you uh, and we have those coming up from juanita moore so uh if you've already supported us tonight perhaps you've already got the ingredients perhaps you've already got your cocktail in hand but you know all those things to come and of course with roma always there'll be time for a few giggles along the way right roma <laughs> Absolutely. Or maybe you're enjoying the non-alcoholic alternative this year, which was a lovely charcuterie. Is that how you say like, Liam, you're fancy. Is that how you say it? Charcuterie? Char charcuterie. Charcuterie. Char charcuterie. Or... Charcuterie, yeah. Yes. Charcuterie. It's fine, love. Selected <laughs> meats and cheeses and things like that. Well, you sound fancy. Oh, you know, it's yeah, an accent. You know? It's all a put-on, Roma. If only you knew. And I, I know you do. <laughs> you, you have a southern accent and you talk like a truck driver. That's right, y'all. This is That's all right, y'all. This is all, all an act. All, all, all for the five dollar payday. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, did you know that no. this year our silent auction is going on, and it's better than ever? And mm -mm. are you ready for this? We've already yes. raised over twelve thousand dollars with the silent auction, and we want to see that number rise. Twelve thousand dollars already. We are such good hosts. We've been on for 12 <laughs> minutes and we've already raised $12,000. We're amazing. Uh, amazing. <laughs> amazing. So a little later, we're going to talk more about these items, but we do have fabulous prizes, including a five night, all expenses paid trip to Palm Springs, two first class tickets on our friends at American Airlines. Oh, wait, at United Airlines. Oh my gosh, I don't <laughs> want to get that wrong. I prefer United, don't you, Liam? Oh, yeah. Everywhere I go, always United. Just one way, though. <laughs> well, we would be in first <laughs> class. We would look so good in first class on United Airlines together. Oh, yeah. We, always and we also have Equinox Fitness memberships and 15 other auction items that you can bid on. The auction closes on April 16th at 5 p.m. So all of you have a chance to bid after the program. And you can bid on the auction items at galabid.com slash soiree 2021. Well done, Roma. And by the way, friends, if at any time you are inspired uh, by our stories to donate, you can do that quite easily. All you have to do is pull out your smartphone. All right. So yeah, grab your phone right now. We can do this together. Uh, and, you know, nudge the one you're with sitting on the sofa. You too. Come on, grab your phone. If you're with a party, uh, get everyone in the room uh, to grab the phone. Uh, and here's what you do to text your gift. You're going to create a message to so pull up a message uh, and you're going to send that message to this number 91999. And in the message, you want to type SF Center, all one word, SF Center, then a space, the amount you want to give. So my, my, my partner, Rick and I tonight are going to give a little gift of $250. So $250 and then your name. So it'll be Liam Maclem, but whatever your name is. So one more time, 291999. Type SF Center, the amount you want to give and your name. And if you want to be anonymous, just leave that part blank, all right? And then make sure you do this. Click on the link to process your payment to ensure that it does go all the way through. So just a couple of easy steps there, Roman, not too difficult. Um, and also want to mention uh, that it really is an, in, an honor uh, to be with all of you tonight. And we thank you in advance uh, for your, your generosity uh, and for all your giving. So thank you in advance for texting to give. Every donation counts and every Every little donation matters. So whatever you can afford. And Roma, as I always say, there's only one way to give, and that is to give from the heart. I'm trying, right? Liam. I'm trying. I did it backwards. <laughs> I put my name before the amount. 
Oh, I did. It worked. Okay, I just gave hundred bucks. I gave hundred dollars. Oh, Roma. Yay. Roma, uh, you're a sweetheart. Thank I know, you so Liam, very much. Um, yeah. Can I borrow hundred dollars? Of course. Okay. <laughs> well, by the way, I should let you know I'm splitting the amount with Rick. So you know, so you're doing well, Roma. Thank you so much, uh, friends. Uh, that done. That's how you give. Uh, one more time, just so people know, all that info, it's up there on the screen. We showed you. We'll remind you again a little bit later. But right now, friends, I want to introduce you to our amazing co-chairs. They say it takes a village, and it de indeed it does. Here we go. Meet our co-chairs. Hi, everyone. I'm Sally Jasmine. And I'm Chris Paul, and we are the co-chairs of the San Francisco LGBT Center's Board of Directors. We're thrilled you can join us for this year's virtual soiree. The center has been hard at work preparing what's sure to be a dazzling and uplifting event. I wouldn't miss it, Sally. I've been waiting for this. It's been a long year. I've been really looking forward to connecting with you and with everybody in the community. And even though we can't hug, uh, we can certainly share a drink, shimmy down in our living rooms and connect with everybody in the community to celebrate the center. Absolutely. And I have to say, I'm loving our Fun at home looks this year. Category is a soiree from home. Just don't uh, ask me to stand up or I might give you the same response RuPaul gave uh, Utica a few weeks ago. <laughs> so let me guess, you're wearing really expensive dress pants. Yeah, something like that, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are so excited to have Leah Maiklin return for a third year as co-host for the evening. Liam is an out and proud fundraising professional and an Emmy award-winning radio TV host known as Foodie Chat on KCBS Radio. The weekly entertainment guide, Liam's List, airs Fridays on KPIX TV. He also has a big weekly column for SF Bay Times celebrating LGBT plus leaders and pioneers. As a highly sought after auctioneer and MC, Liam has helped raise millions of dollars for many nonprofit organizations and schools all over America and further afield in Bali and the UK. We're also really honored to have the legendary sister Roma return as a host this evening. Roma is one of the most outspoken and recognizable members of the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, dedicating more than half of her life to fundraising, community service and activism. Thank you, Sister Roma and Liam, for joining us tonight. We also want to thank our fabulous entertainment director for the evening, Juanita Moore, and our badass virtual party DJ, Lady Ryan. You'll be seeing them both later on, so stay tuned. Thank you to everyone who makes the center's work possible. Thank you to our wonderful fellow board members, current and alumni, the incredible staff, and faithful volunteers. Without their dedication, none of the center's vital programs and services would be possible. Thank you to our presenting sponsor, Sutter Health CPMC, where my wife will be giving birth in about a week. Uh, thank you to our diamond sponsors, Uber, United Airlines, and US Bank. Thank you to our gold sponsors, Capital One, Cruise, Facebook, Oculus, Pacific Office Automation, and the San Francisco Bay Times, and all the rest of our wonderful sponsors, virtual captains, VIP hosts, and friends. We are so grateful for your partnership and continued investment in the center. The full list can be found on our Soiree website. And now we are excited to introduce the fabulous Juanita Moore. For almost three decades, the tireless Juanita Moore has blitzed San Francisco with high glamor, drag irreverence, danceable beats, culinary delectables, political activism, and a philanthropic heart that has illuminated the entire city. And tonight she is not only our fabulous entertainment director, but she is also returning as our virtual bartendress. So please grab your glass. We'll be back after this quick cocktail commercial break. Cheers. Hi everybody. Our next liquor sponsor is Heaven Hill Distillery and they are a family owned Kentucky distillery and they provided us with Evan Williams bourbon. I'm a big bourbon drinker. So I'm going to make my namesake cocktail, which is the Juanita Moore cocktail. And we're going to use bourbon, lemon, ginger beer, and some blackberries. So the first thing we're gonna do is add some blackberries into our little cocktail shaker, and we're gonna squeeze some lemon in there. The one thing that you definitely need to squeeze lemons is a yellow lemon squeezer, or the juice won't come out of your squeezer. So we're gonna squeeze one lemon in there, which would be great. 
I'm going to take my mother and I'm just going to mash this up for a second. I'm going to add a nice shot of this bourbon. There we go. I'm going to muddle it just a bit more. That should do it. Now I'm going to pour it into a nice tall glass over ice and I'm going to strain it in. Ooh, look at that color. That is my color. That is the color of my lipstick. Now we're going to add some ginger beer to top it off and a blackberry. And we're going to stir it. Ah. Oh, I don't even know. This is too big for me to stir it. I'm going to use my trusty yellow knife, which I also advise when you're cutting lemons because it's yellow. Cheers. Oh, I taste so good. It's delicious. Hi, next up from Heaven Hill Distillery is this lovely Deep Eddy Lime Vodka. And I think, you know, I mean, I love vodka, but I think the nicest and simplest thing to do with this flavored vodka is to make like a vodka soda. So we're gonna pour some of this lovely vodka into my vintage glass. And we're going to add some sparkling soda. You can get a citrus one if you like. And then I'm gonna suggest garnishing it with a cucumber and maybe a lime wedge. I don't really know how I'm gonna put this cucumber in here besides dropping it in, but how cute is that? Let me give it a little stir. Oh, I could smell the cucumber in there already and the lime. Oh, wait a minute, it needs a little spray of mint. That'll really make it. Oh, that looks great. Wow, it's gorgeous and refreshing, just like me. Cheers. Wow. Well, I know. Well, gorgeous and refreshing, just like Juanita. Uh, I tried to follow along, Roma. Um, what, what did you think? She's amazing, right? I mean, how much do we love Juanita? And she does it all. She cooks. She makes cocktails. She's a party host, a fashion icon. I mean, gosh, there's no end to her talents. To Absolutely. Juanita. I was going to say, now there's another title she can add to her long list of credits, Bartendress. You know, <laughs> bartendress. And I want everybody to know that that is her actual real kitchen. Yeah, it is. There's a lot going on there. Um, joyfully, we've been friends uh, for, for more than, I'm going to say, 25 years. As long as I've known you, Roma, I've known Juanita. And I have to say this about her. Like you, Roma, when it comes to showing up for community, showing up for friends, she's there, always. You can always rely on Juanita. And there is one party, she throws many, but there's one party I've not missed in more than 20 years, and that is her annual uh, Pride Party. As you know, it is the hottest ticket and the best event. And over the years, she's raised a lot of money for a lot of charities. So we love her for that reason as well, right, Roma? Oh, so many reasons to love Juanita. And I, as much as I love her, and you know, we are neighbors and I have actually, I have had the pleasure of eating her food. And like you said, she and I have been side by side for so many important causes at so many great parties and events. The Harvey Milk Terminal dedication to, mm. uh, comes to mind, but she is actually also my arch nemesis, Liam, and you know this because <laughs> you are the host of the William Sonoma Drag Queen Cookoff. Yes. And when Nina yes. and I have gone, <laughs> knife, knives out, honey. Knives out. Yes. Knives out, nails out. Let's go. Let's uh, go. And that is one of my favorite events. It's amazing. It's a pride event. And Juanita has beaten me twice. I beat her once. So she is the reigning. William Sonoma Drag Queen Cookoff Champion. I think we're going to do it again this year. So who knows yeah. what can happen? But yeah. um, I do want to say also that I'm so happy she's running for Empress. I, yeah. I I just can't think of a more qualified candidate. She has done so much for the community. You know, she has raised over a million dollars for charity. Oh, I know. It's it's incredible. Uh, and Roma, equally, I know you've done just as much. Uh, but she is incredible. I'm just always gobsmacked at her immense talent uh, for cooking, making cocktails, and for doing it all. And she does it all. I just wonder when she sleeps. 
I know, and she and she, yeah, she always <laughs> rises above the drama. She doesn't get caught up in any of the crap that goes no. on. No, she's she always does not. has a very pleasant demeanor, very charming. Yeah. And of course, the house of the mother, ho- mother of the house of Moore, along yeah. with Mr. David, who happens to be running for emperor. So yeah. even though he is running unopposed, you still have to vote for him so that he gets a certain enough for over 50% of the votes to be elected. Can you imagine those two together if they were emperor? Uh, emperor? Well, it's going to be quite something. We wish them both well. And you know, with that, Roma, I want us to introduce the mother of our house, the LGBT Center House. She is the executive director. Friends, you know her, you love her. Here she is, Rebecca Rolfe. I think all of us have spent the last year asking questions about the future. When can we safely meet face to face? Will we finally reach herd immunity? What about the economy and jobs? Not to mention if there'll be positive movement against our national crisis of racial justice, or even what the very future of our democracy will be. While we've all learned that predicting the future during these unimaginable times is futile, this last year has taught us an incredibly valuable lesson. Regardless of the predictions, we must be prepared for anything and everything. In the midst of all this uncertainty, every day brings a bizarre combination of tedium and crisis. Day after day of sameness. If we are lucky and have a secure job and a home, our concerns may be looking for a new Netflix series to watch, a new bread to bake, and something, anything different to make for dinner, all the while desperately seeking a way to make Zoom lessons engaging for our children. Tedium if we are lucky. If we aren't as lucky and are without steady employment or a home, life is a daily, if not hourly, struggle for survival. And the crises come quick, hard, and debilitatingly frequently. Many of us have lost loved ones to the pandemic or other causes and struggle to express our grief and sorrow in isolation or through a Zoom screen. Collectively, we have faced crisis after crisis. In the last three months alone, we have seen a violent attack on our nation's capital, continued right-wing efforts to disenfranchise people of color, queer folks, and poor folks, to attacks on voting rights and civil rights, and the ongoing violence targeting Black, Latinx, Asian, and Indigenous people, including right here in San Francisco on the very streets that we call home. In the face of all this, we again go back to asking questions with the hardest of all, what can we do? What can we do to help those of us most impacted by the financial, physical, emotional, and racial reckoning of this last year? What can we do to help hold together this community that we all cherish so much? Just like you, I'm struggling to finding my own way while leading an organization and supporting a community in finding our collective way through this crisis. While the answer I found for myself may sound simple, it is actually incredibly hard on more days than I care to admit. I simply try to show up. I put one foot in front of the other every day and I show up for what I believe is possible. I do my very best to show up for our clients and staff, for all who need our support to make it through. And when I show up, something amazing happens. I look around and I am surrounded by others who show up too, just like those of you joining us here tonight. When I see others working shoulder to shoulder, it inspires me to take the next step, give the next ounce of effort, ask the next question, and to keep showing up. It is this collective showing up that makes the work of the center possible. Here's how that looks. We show up in person. We've successfully modified our building to COVID requirements so that we can be a resource to those who need in-person support. Addressing emergencies with gift cards for people needing food and supplies while working to get them connected to longer-term resources. Meeting young folks provide food, hygiene supplies, camping equipment, and connection to our housing, mental health, and other critical services. Opening our cyber center for people who are looking for a job 
to stay connected to loved ones or to make an appointment for a COVID test or vaccine. We show up through technology, finding creative ways to support financial stability through coaching and workshops, connecting people to affordable housing and to employment. And through this, we show up for our values and our vision of a world founded in equity and liberation, where all people are truly valued and respected for our full selves, with the opportunity to express and celebrate our gender, sexuality, culture, and identities with full freedom and full volume, where every person has access to basic human rights, such as education, housing, employment, accessible medical care, and agency over our own bodies and health, regardless of our, our identities or who we love. I know it's not easy. There are days when the bright future we all seek seems distant, but it is in our collective showing up that we will find the path to that future to be possible. We have the resources to hold every single member of our community if we all show up whether that's financially contributing tonight or giving your time, energy, and faith in community to each other. We can build the future we want. And I am committed, we are committed to showing up with you and for you every single day. We cannot know what challenges lay ahead of us, but we can be absolutely certain that when we stand in community, when we add up our collective commitment love and brilliance, we will create the future of our dreams. Well, we are still here. We are still open. We are continuing to offer full services, whether that's a need for getting connected to other resources, developing financial capacity and financial stability for people coming in to access the Cyber Center. We still continue to be available to people in the, in the community. One of the things that we've really seen as part of the pandemic is that the disparities that already existed within the community have really grown exponentially. And the direct services that we provide are really looking at addressing those inequities and how we can really look at leveraging resources from the community to support those folks most in need. I think a really tangible example of that is our host home program. I moved to San Francisco in the late 80s you know, it was a much different time. It was much harder to be open in other places in the country. And so we all thought of San going to San Francisco was Mecca, you know. That's an impossible dream for a lot of young people now. The whole idea behind Host Homes is to help a young person who is unstably housed have some stability. I've been a really lucky person in my life and I feel it's important to pay that forward. What we look for in hosts are people who have a desire to just provide support to young people. And what's cool about our program is that they get to decide the type of host that they want to be, whether that's a friend, whether that's a mentor, they get to decide. I think it's interesting for the youth to get to meet an older person who's not an authority figure, who's not a teacher, a parent, a boss, you know, and to have a relationship with that person that's actually an equal relationship, but somebody of a different generation. I think the host home program really offers an opportunity where we can provide not just housing, but beyond that, it is also really about building relationships. And that is what we're about at the center, how we're really supporting each other. I've been a San Francisco resident for close to 30 years. I couldn't think of a better place to live. Of course, there are challenges. It is expensive to live here. After my mother died, after having pretty much been a full-time caregiver for three and a half years, I found myself with very little funds. So I chose to explore the below market rate housing program. Gautam came to the center through the First Time Home Buyers Program. Gautam has been in the Bay Area for a long time, and so it was really nice that we were able to work together to show them that there are opportunities to have a home here in San Francisco. The BMR program offered by the city is complex. 
when I met Travis, it was really enlightening to have him break down information. And he immediately knew where he needed to meet me. The process may seem very complex at first, but by working with our housing counselors, you're able to navigate that system efficiently. The center has actually helped hundreds of San Franciscans find affordable home options here in the city. Who doesn't love a great movie and who doesn't love a happy ending, especially in the midst of a pandemic? I won. I won the lottery. And if it wasn't for the LGBT center, I wouldn't have won. They made the miracle happen. What I've seen about host homes is this program calls us into ourselves to say, what can we do to give to our community, right? Because we all have something really valuable to offer. I think probably one of the more fulfilling moments for myself as a host was on one of the check-in calls, hold acknowledge there's so much going on for me right now, but I've never had so much support in my life. And that was cool, I was part of that. The center is coming up on our 20th anniversary and the community looks so different today than it looked 20 years ago. In fact, so different today than it looked just 13 months ago. The one thing that I've learned as part of this pandemic is we're not going to be able to predict what it's going to look like in six months, but I can assure you that we will be here from one day to the next, from one month to the next, and from one consequential event to the next. Oh my gosh, Rebecca, we love you so much. That was just a beautiful presentation. And I really agree with what you said about showing up. That is so important. That's sort of a thing that I've always kind of tried to live by. Like Liam, you know, to him, Juanita, like mm -hmm. you say, we're always there at every event we go. It's like, yes, you do. Yeah. You show up. If you care about something, you prove it. You don't just sit at home and you tweet about it or talk to you. You get out there and you actually get your feet on the ground and support the issues that are important to you. Showing up is really, really what it's all about. And that's what the center does for all of us. My two most important words, literally, uh, are show up. Uh, that's, that's how I try and live. Uh, and I don't always succeed, but just show up. And of course, everyone here tonight is showing up. And for that, we have to thank you. They are. And so let's talk about some of the things that were covered in the video. The center welcomes over 100,000 visitors annually and provides direct services to nearly 12,000 people. And those major programs and services include financial and small business services, the first time home buyers program, which I just learned about. And that is definitely a happy ending. And we do love a happy ending. Um, the employment <laughs> services, information and referral program, arts and culture program, youth services, including mental health, navigation services and the host homes program. And Liam, did you know that we have the city's only LGBTQ plus specific youth drop-in center with healthy food, clothing, hygiene supplies, a washing machine and dryer, a computer printer and internet access. I mean, the washer and dryer blows me away. That is just like a brilliant <laughs> little cherry on top of the sundae. Well, and that's worth a donation. That's worth a donation right there, just to make sure the washer and dryer keeps going. But that's the thing, Roma, uh, so many people aren't aware. Hopefully people are being educated tonight. I'm learning things tonight. The LGBT Center serves the entire community and serves us all in so many ways, uh, which is quite incredible. You know, let me share a few things too, Roma. Uh, job seekers, more than 400 people uh, just this past year helped to participate in career fairs uh, and employer spotlights. Uh, more than 300 plus LGBTQ uh, youth uh, were served more than 1400 meals uh, and given more than 200 hours of therapy. As we know, this past year, so many of us have been feeling isolation. So many 
kids as well, the youth, the young ones coming here from other places to find refuge and then they find isolation. So that therapy, all important. Uh, and as you mentioned there in the program, Roma, uh, the program Host Homes, this is where LGBTQ plus youth, uh, that's young adults, 18 to 24, they are paired with temporary San Francisco community hosts to help them secure stable housing in response to the youth housing crisis. And that program launched this past year and we were able to place three youth in particular into hot homes, even during the shelter in place. Uh, so all these great things, all these triumphs, all these things that are happening, and it's happening because of the generosity uh, of friends uh, like yourselves watching right now, supporting and giving and donating. Uh, also, the Arts and Culture Program. Uh, there's a gallery in the lobby. If you walk into the lobby when we will again uh, very soon, and you can see uh, all this great LGBTQ plus art. Along with the art goes great stories. Uh, approximately five gallery exhibitions are hosted each year, uh, each one featuring a mix of about 15 to 20 established and emerging artists. So Roma, so many ways, uh, so many rich, abundant ways our community is served through the center. And of course, this work is so incredibly important. So important. And the partner, uh, the center partners with dozens of local organizations, but of course, none of this would be possible without the incredible team of over 900 volunteers. Mm. The volunteers are the heart and soul of the center and dramatically expand the capacity of the services they can provide. Community members fill diverse community needs and give back, whether through regular commitment or a one-time opportunity. So now is your chance to give back because none of it would be possible without the generosity of people just like you. And I have to say, Liam, yeah. when our community turns up and shows up, we are so generous and give, give, give. So pull out your phones and start giving. I know you got a little stimmy. I know you might make something, <laughs> or maybe you got your tax return. You'd like to share a little, spread a little love and share with some people. Let's do it. Let's do it, Roma. And here's the info. We want we invite you to text your gift to 91999. In the message, type SF Center space, then give the amount you'd like to give, and then your name. If you want to be anonymous, uh, just don't put your name and we'll still happily take your gift uh, and you don't have to get credit for it. But if you want your name there, of course, one more time, it's Text your gift to 91999, nine, sorry. In the message, type SF Center, space the amount you want to give and your name. If you're sitting on the sofa with someone right now, give them a little nudge, encourage them to get out their phone because here's what is really wonderful about tonight, Roma. Uh, we only need about $15,000 to get to our goal tonight, which is $30,000. Uh, in addition uh, to all the great gifts our amazing sponsors have already committed to, uh, we're gonna do all we can tonight together as a community to make sure we hit our goal. And this is so exciting. I wish I had a drum roll, but I'm gonna just tap on the counter here because ladies and gentlemen, we have a match tonight. Yes, we do. A $15,000 match available to double every single donor donated this evening. We want to thank our anonymous donor uh, for the generosity, but basically Roma, because of that incredible gift, dollar for dollar, we're going to match your gift. So if you give $100, it becomes $200. We'll match your gift, double your giving, and double your impact. Double the impact tonight uh, that you are going to have uh, by donating and giving generously to the LGBT Center. And we cannot thank you enough. So one more time, there it is, information on the screen. Text 91999 in the message, enter SF Center, your donation amount, and of course your name. If you wanna be anonymous, that's fine too. Every single dollar counts, every donation matters, and we thank you in advance so very, very much. Now, the gifts, I hope they're coming in, Roma. Uh, and we thank everybody for the generosity in advance. This is the exciting bit, Roma, because people are giving and we are so grateful that they are. We have some prizes to talk about, don't we? We do, and we wanna thank all of our sponsors who already supported this event and a thank you to our auction sponsors. You can participate in our silent auction by visiting www.galabid.com slash soiree2021. We have many auction items available, including that pair of first class tickets on United Airlines that I have got my eye on. I love flying <laughs> first class. You know, it's 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 fancy. I love yeah, it. It is. Well, so are you, Roma. 
Right. I think I should. I, I, I mean, I was born for hello. Look at me. This is a first class right here. All yeah. right. Yeah. So we know that you have been eagerly looking forward to getting out of quarantine. The isolation period is coming to an end. You got your shot. You're ready to travel. You're making plans. What better way than to fly first class? You deserve it. You've had a whole year waiting to get out and go somewhere. So bid on these tickets. Of course, we encourage responsible travel and following public health recommendations regarding travel to keep us all safe. These tickets can be booked up to a year from now, so you have plenty of time and opportunity to book that flight and figure out where you're going to go. Mm -hmm. Done. And by the way, Roman, can we mention to folks, we're not just going to send you there. We're going to bring you back. These are return tickets. Yeah. You get to fly yeah. first class two times? Why not? To be sure, to be sure. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to fly with you, Rua. Let's do it. Come on. Let's bid together. Well, where are we going to go? Wherever you choose. Okay. Wherever United Airlines goes. I'm going to go to London. Yeah. Well, looks like you're going to Palm Springs. <laughs> <laughs> so, love, let's go on. Let me talk about some other things. Equinox. We all want to get fit. And you listen. We all like to get our sweat on, do we not? Uh, many of us have not been in gyms, but guess what? The gyms are opening up again. And so we have a gift, a six month membership, a private group class at Equinox's brand new location. Uh, this membership, of course, will get you fit, get you in shape. Uh, it's the Equinox on Van Ness, uh, should I say Van Mission. Uh, and here's the deal. You'll be able to get your friends together for an exclusive private group fitness signature class, either in the club or virtually. Your choice, whatever feels safe and good for you. Equinox Van Mission is a dynamic new state-of-the-art space. It's outfitted with the most advanced health and safety standards in a fitness club, plus pristine equipment, immaculate studios, and luxe amenities. We love the amenities. We love working out. So if you want to get fit, get back in shape. If you want to lose your COVID-19 pounds like me, uh, this will be the thing you want to bid on. Uh, from fitness, listen, once you've worked out, you deserve a vacation. We all want to get away. How about this? Plan your post-pandemic vacation with five nights, just five nights, reveling and relaxing at Sonder at V, Palm Springs. Yep, the stunning back drop of the mountains and the deserts and of course listen we're going to save we're going to make sure we get you there as well we want to thank our friends at alaska airlines for getting us uh, round trip tickets uh to palm springs and back it's a great way to fly to the desert it's a hop skip and a jump it's what an hour 20 minute flight or something uh from the bay area sfo all the way uh, to palm springs so get bidding on this remember folks every item you bid on the more you bid the more you give uh, the more we're going to serve the more people we'll be able to serve through the LGBT center. So get giving and get bidding, right, Roma? Oh, absolutely. Palm Springs has really, really become such a fun place to visit. And you know, a lot of San Franciscans have moved there. Oh, yeah. They also, they have international celebrities like megastars and also people like Heglina. Well, okay. So don't say that. We want people to bid on this trip. People, I, people know <laughs> there. They're not going to go. Go anyway. They are. Go anyway. I love Heclina. We love Heclina. It has become that oasis in the desert. Uh, so many of our friends, Roma, we've lost friends of ours from San Francisco to the desert this past year. I'm like, where's everyone gone? So it is a great place. But you know what? It's a great place to escape to as well. If you just want to enjoy uh, that wonderful desert sun, sit by the pool, enjoy some cocktails, uh, enjoy the great shopping and enjoy all the experiences that trip to Palm Springs is the one to bid on as well. Maybe I'll, I'm going to outbid someone right now. Excuse me. I'm actually going to Palm Springs at the end of the month. It'll be my first trip in over a year. I'm going with my best friend, uh, Mike Shante. It's his birthday. Yeah, We're good. Going to my friend Ethel, who lives there, who's starting a new club called Ethel's Place. And we've got all kinds of fun things planned. It's going to be great. So I'm excited. Uh, we, want to, we want our hosts and captains who would typically be surrounded by their friends at the dinner table to know that we appreciate your continued support. And also to our virtual fundraisers who took the time during this pandemic to participate in our virtual fundraising efforts. Thank you. Yeah, thank you one and all. And you know, I've got a cocktail in my hand. I don't usually drink on the job. However, I was encouraged to tonight because it's time for another cocktail break. Everyone get ready, here we go. The one, the only, the legendary, the cocktail mistress herself, Juanita Moore. Hi, everybody. 
Now we're going to make a cocktail, thanks to Edrington Brands, um, who are headquartered in Scotland. And we're gonna use their Bruegel rum to make a pretty classic daiquiri. That sounds great to me. So the first thing we wanna do is pour about two ounces of the rum over some ice. Fabulous. We're also gonna need a squeeze of lime. And again, I wanna remind you that you need a green lime squeezer and a green knife if you wanna get any juice out of your lime. So we're gonna squeeze that in there. And then the other half. And then we're gonna add, you can add simple syrup, but I'm going to add a bit of this pineapple gum syrup. And I'm gonna add about half an ounce. There we go. And we're gonna just stir that up a tiny bit. Oh, that smells great. Pour it into a lovely glass and add a nice little wedge of lime. And there you go. There's a Bruegel rum daiquiri with a little bit of pineapple and lime. Ooh, that's so good. I will see you later because I'm going to finish this cocktail. And now from Edgerton Brands, we have this fame, their famous grouse scotch, which I really am going to keep this nice and simple. The one thing you absolutely need to drink this scotch is a square ice cube. So these lovely ice cubes, of course, I've got from, gotten from the Arctic. They're nice and cold. And we're gonna pour some of this beautiful caramel looking scotch in there. I'm just gonna let that chill for one second. And then I'm gonna give it a little sip. Mm. We have, have had truly quite a year, and I think this would be uh, a nice scotch to just sit and sit. I hope you enjoy it. What about that? Cheers, Juanita. Wait, wait yes. did, she, did she say that that ice cube came from the Arctic? <laughs> she did. Wow. You know, that, that is like some hot couture bartender's action right there. Oh, no, seriously. Listen, those ice cubes, I know she had them shipped in overnight uh, direct from the Arctic. Uh, I just, I can't get enough of, of Juanita. I'm, I'm just blown away by that kitchen, that little setup there. Uh, but thanks, Juanita. Thank you so very, very much. So, friends, now that you've had a cocktail or two, now you want to grab that smartphone of yours uh, and make that donation. This is such an important uh, moment for the LGBT Center. Uh, and Roma, I know we always say this and we've heard this, but the the giving is of paramount importance and uh, probably of greater importance this year than any year in recent memory. We really need people to show up to give and really help us tonight. Isn't that fair to say? Absolutely. Yeah, so please do, friends. Let's tell you where your giving is going. Uh, just as you think about a donation. So if you give it a donation tonight, say for $350, uh, that will keep the cyber center, keep people connected, connected. It's all important right now uh, for one four hour session. A donation of $250 uh, will, will provide two hours of financial coaching. Uh, just imagine that, getting your financial house in order and that uh, incredible gift there of 250 will provide that uh, for someone. Uh, right now, this past year, the isolation, uh, mental wellness is so important. Well, guess what? The LGBT Center will provide mental health counseling to a young person. One hour of mental health counseling, your gift of $125 will make that happen. And a gift of $75 will provide 30 minutes of information and referral uh, in a session face to face. Every gift counts. Every donation matters, Roma. So true. And you know, really, the services that they're providing for that amount of money, I mean, that's like what you pay for your subscription services or like a, a, your Grubhub, because, you know, we've all been eating, ordering food or what I yeah. spend, you know, on boas and like, come on, that's amazing. It's really great. Or what about a, bub a bu gorgeous bottle of bubbly to celebrate your, your first pandemic shot? Well, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's funny you should say that because I just happened to have uh, uh, some, some bubbles here. Uh, Roma, I, I know people have been very generous, but you know, here's what we're going to do. We're going to have a little speed round of giving. So 
uh, if you're watching us right now and you haven't yet picked up your smartphone, we're going to start some music. All right. And everyone who gives in the next minute, the next 60 seconds, we're going to enter you uh, into a little draw. And one lucky person is going to get an email, uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe Monday morning, saying that you've won this gorgeous bottle of French Chardonnay. It's the real deal because it's from Chardonnay, uh, Champagne rather. It's from the Champagne region. And it's Pierre. He knows his stuff. Yes, he does. Uh, Pierre Monquie. Pierre, Sister Roma, will you just say that for me? Pierre Monquie in your best French? Pierre Monquie. That's it. This could be yours. Make a donation now, friends. Come on. Text to 91999 in the mission. Type SF Center, then a space, the amount you want to give, and your name, if you want us to give you a little shout out. Now's the moment, now's the time. Nudge the friend next to you on the sofa. Come on, get the phone out, make that donation, and just think about the ripple effect, the impact you'll be having uh, with your donation tonight, helping the LGBT Center serve more of our youth, serve more of the underserved. Every donation counts, and we thank you in advance for your generosity. So please give what you can, and Roma, give from the heart, right? So true, and what a great way to celebrate the center and to celebrate coming out of the past 12, 13 months. What a great way to, to celebrate the rejuvenation of life and seeing each other in community with a beautiful bottle of Pierre Monquy. Pierre Monquy, and by the Go way, ahead. listen, Pierre Monquy. We're going to be saying that we need a drag queen. Uh, we need a drag queen called Lady Pierre Monquy. So let, can we make that happen, please? All right, keep on giving, guys. Ten seconds, ten seconds, uh, and then we're going to stop the music. But everyone who gave in the last minute or so, we're going to put you into the raffle. No matter what you give, every dollar matters. All right, folks, stop the music. All those people who have given. Uh, just at the last minute or so, you get to go into the raffle. One lucky person will get an email letting you know that you won the Magnum. So, Roma, uh, what, a, what an honor uh, it's been tonight. Um, and I am thrilled to announce, uh, I've just been told, people talking in my ear, they've just let us know that we have raised, Roma, can you give us a little drum roll together? Come on, here we go. Together, friends, congratulations. Thank you to you for your generosity because we have raised so far tonight $190,000. You made it have, happen. Your big, generous hearts, your hearts as big as the Golden Gate Bridge, you showed up and you gave tonight. And for that, we say thank you. Oh, that is amazing. I love our community and our allies so much. Thank you all all for giving and we want everyone to know that you can keep giving and know that we are here because of your generous support and remember to send us those selfies and join us on our custom playlist for a dance party at home with dj lady ryan and check out the items on the silent auction plus we have more entertainment coming up more entertainment to come. And I just want to say thank you one more time to each and every one of you. I want to thank Juanita Moore for just being a rock star mixologist and all around great community supporter. And of course, my sister, Sister Roma, the most photographed none in the world. Uh, I adore you, Sister Roma. Thank you for co-hosting, making me look good in your shadows. I love you, darling. Thank you for all uh, you give our community each and every day because you do something for community every day if it's a tweet or if it's if it's a donation or if it's showing up to something you're there and we thank you sister Roma. thanks for the fun tonight oh thank you so much liam and i want to give a big shout out to rebecca thank you for trusting <laughs> liam and me to host this amazing spectacular event and shout out to sarah and danielle for all of your hard work in organizing us and, and all the people on the tech team who I can see in the list, but I don't even know who you are. You're doing, you did a great job. Thank you all so much. And thank all of you at home for joining us and your generosity. And of course, thank you to candidate for Empress, Winita Moore, who's going to show, bring some of her uh, Moore family to entertain you. And we have a DJ set, drag entertainment, a lot more going on. So this is the end of our portion, but the show is not over. So stick around and enjoy the party. Mwah. Hi, our next wine sponsor is Kobler Estate Vineyards and they're a winery located up in Russian River Valley, which is such a gorgeous part of California. They have um, brought for us tonight a fabulous, a red and white wine. Um, the first one being Bacagalupi Vineyards, Russian River, oh, it's this one, sorry, the Chardonnay, 
Look at how pretty that is. It's a 2017 vintage and only 100 cases have been produced. I love a good glass of Chardonnay, so we're gonna give this one a taste. Oh, that's really, really good. Um, it smells like it's got a tiny, tiny hint of pineapple. I'm gonna take another sip. Mm. I think that would be great. Um, maybe with some shrimp scampi, lots of fresh herbs. I think it's gonna be perfect with that. The other wine that we have from them is the Russian River Pinot Noir. This one was from 2016 and only 17 cases were produced. Now that's a pretty color. Um, they have said that this is a medium body Pinot and appearing by the color, I would say so. Hmm. Definitely has notes of cherry. I think it would be great with um, a seared duck breast maybe. Would you like me to cook that for you? You wanna come over and have a seared duck breast? And then we can have some more of this. I hope we do that. Anyway, I love you. Thank you so much, Kobler Estates Vineyards and Winery for pro providing us with these fabulous wine on tonight's forum.